Um, hey, so I just wanted to highlight this little clip from Resident Evil that I took when I was playing. So it's from Resident Evil 3, and it's about this dad and, and the daughter, the daughter, um, rather. Um, so obviously the city's descended into chaos, the zombie virus, the T-virus is sort of infecting people and they're becoming zombies or whatever. But unfortunately, so this dad, um, his daughter gets infected. And I just love this uh, thematic complexity that was introduced into Resident Evil 3. And by the way, we get to meet this dad too um, in Resident Evil 2 because both of them take place on the same day in the same city. And I love the, like, if you see the cutscene that follows my little portion of gameplay, you can see that the dad's hiding something from this police officer, Jill Valentine, that you're playing as. When he looks at the door and you know that he's locked his daughter in there. And I just love those non-verbal cues we use. And the direction of this was so good. And just you can see the concern in his face when he's being told, oh, they can evacuate and go to the train station. They've got a train that's heading out of town to take all the last remaining survivors, the non-infected people, out of the city uh, before the government nukes it or whatever because they're meant to nuke it on October 1st. Just level and see if they can get rid of the virus. Um, but you can see he's torn between leaving because his daughter is turning into a zombie and that pretty much means that she's dead. Not just dead to him, but like dead dead. She becomes a leaving dead. And I love that, that just that conflict that he has, internal conflict. You know, do you put your daughter down? Because sooner or later she has to go through this horrible transformation of transforming into a zombie. There's no cure for it, obviously. And as soon as she transforms, she's no longer human. She's living dead. So do you put a bullet in her before? Do you wait for her to transform and then put a bullet in her afterwards? Or do you just stay with her and hope for a cure of some sort and just wait for her to infect you too and you turn into a zombie? Essentially, both of you can both be the undead. And I think he's a single dad. I don't know where the mum is. It doesn't say. Um, but this was such a beautiful part of Resident Evil 3. I actually had to just really get that clip. And then there are obviously other things that you can you can glean from the just from the little clip is obviously the art direction in this video game is very very good um you can see the the lighting that they've chosen it's very cinematic by the way the entire video game campaign um and i just love just this really this really this part of the story really target my heartstrings so in resident evil 2 in my current playthrough i'm playing as leon a um and as Leon, I've passed through the gun shop, but already after the city has been, sort of parts of the city have already been taken over by the zombies. So we don't know where this dad is at the moment. Now, I haven't yet played as Claire in Resident Evil 2, but I think I'll be able to meet the dad again and kind of see where it goes. Now, part of the story is continued a little bit in the DLC, or like an extended portion of the Resident Evil game. Resident Evil 2, I haven't played it yet. I'm going to play it um, after I've finished Resident Evil, Resident, Resident Evil 2, because I want to have full context of the story. But they did it really, really remarkably well. Um, I love that. And even with Jill Valentine, and it's so amazing, like the lip syncing and everything works perfectly. Um, yeah, so I just, I'm sorry, I just really had to tell someone this. It's just been, ugh, like, dude, what Capcom did with the Resident Evil games is amazing. Um, and obviously I want to save all of this for um, for a deep dive that I'm going to be doing sometime soon. But I just really had to get this out. I didn't really have anyone to share it with. Um, anyway, um, ciao, bye.